Your Y-Leg Flip Top Training Table arrives in two boxes, a top and a base. Recommended tools include a Phillips screwdriver, a Phillips screw gun, and a small drill bit. Shown here are all the parts from your base box, along with all the hardware components that will be used in the assembly of your Y-Leg Flip Top Training Table. For assembly of your Y-Leg Flip Top Training Table, you're going to have the base unit here, your two legs, the handles, and then your top. As you can see, there's a number of holes in the top, and we're going to be using the holes marked B2 on the guide that comes with your tabletop. And we'll show you where those are as the video progresses, and then the rest of this will be installed with wood screws attaching the base to the top, and we'll get that started for you now. So to get assembly, you're going to take the base, and you're just going to lay it on the back of your table here, and we're going to use the two holes, the most two inside here. These are the B2 holes here. And you'll see that your frame, these two adjustable oval holes will go over that as a lineup. And you can see that they line up on both sides. And we just get those that they're about centered in each location. Then we take the machine bolts that are included with the table base, thread those through. And I usually get them all threaded first far as you can go finger tight on both sides and then you're going to finish it with your Phillips screwdriver like so and you want those to be nice and snug and hand tight don't recommend using a drill with these because there's not a lot of thread on these and you don't want to over tighten them. It's better to just let your hand get the feel for where tightness needs to be on these and you'll be in good shape. Now that you've got your base loosely atta or attached to the top, now we can uh, put our legs on. You're going to take your legs and you're going to take these holes and put them over these knobs here. You want to make sure that your legs are splayed out towards the edge of the table not in towards the center of the table. Make sure your legs are splayed out. Put it over your knobs there, and then take the large bolts that are included. And we're gonna thread those through. Now once you've got them started, you're gonna take the included Allen key, and you're just gonna tighten these legs up to the table. You'll see that the bolt head will go through nicely and then once you get it tight it'll almost be flush or maybe just a little bit inside of flush to the exterior of the leg. And you can do that with both sides. Another key to know that you've got the right side of the leg out is there's two pinholes that are on the other side here which are used if you get the uh, optional modesty panel and you'll see that those are on the inside rather than on the outside so that you have a clean look to the outside of the table. You can see those Two holes here that are used for attaching the modesty panel if it's something that you did with your table. Repeat the leg assembly on the opposite side. Now that you have your legs attached on both sides, you're going to finish securing the, the base to the top and we're going to use these small holes that are on the base and put the wood screws in that come with your assembly with your base uh, hardware. You could drill those right in with a screwdriver or a, a screw gun, but what we recommend is putting a small drill puncture hole just in the back of each one to help get that screw started. It'll save you some time and effort by just puncturing the back side of that. And then that way, when you go to put your screws in, you've got something to bite into as opposed to trying to start fresh through that laminate back here. And there's your screw, each one. You put four of these in. And we'll do this on both sides of the table. And then for final assembly, you're just gonna take your drill and puncture a hole in the back here and here. Take your two longer wood screws that are included in your assembly, 
So this is where they're going to get used. And you're just going to fire those into the back. And that will complete the attachment of the back. You can see it cinched that down. Then I always take a screwdriver and just give it a quarter turn just to cinch those down. You can do that with all your screws across to make sure that you've got them in there nice and snug all the way around. Always set your gun a little bit lower than what it needs to make it tight so you don't spin them out. I recommend about a six on your gun and then that way you can come through and give it this final hand tightening across the board. So once you have the table, the base completely assembled and cinched down, then have someone help you to flip it over and get it into this upright position. You can use the hand mechanism here to, to lock it into place so it's in the upright position. Then you've got these two plastic flip handles. There's a screw inserted here. You're gonna unthread that screw. And then you can see this little gap that's right here that goes all the way through up into here. That's what we're gonna do to put here onto this metal bar here. You wanna make sure you get the right one because this should pretty much come in line like this when it's done. So make sure that you slide this over the top, get yourself into that groove. Sink it down and then you'll have this plastic piece will line up with that hole there. Once you get this in position so that the peg and the hole match here, you can just access it through here, put your screw right through this hole and it will cinch it to the mechanism nice and tight for you. And you'll repeat that on the other side as well. You can see here, this is your mechanism for releasing the table from its upright position. You got these small plastic caps. These are designed so that when you're nesting other tables against it, it's the plastic that the table face is hitting as you bring them in and helps with that. Um, for your tabletops. And then to release them, you just click on that, bring it around, lock it into place, and you've got yourself your nesting table. It's all set to go and in position to use. Locking casters, our foot, all have four foot lock casters. Push down, kick up with your foot, down to lock, up to release. When you're ready to nest your tables, just reach underneath for your handle, push up with it, release. You'll hear that pin lock into place and you're good to go with your nesting tables.